Hello, this is Daniel Please, My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. In this one, I'm gonna show you real quick how to install Forge Mod Loader with Forge Mods for Minecraft 1.18.2, that is. Of course, before we get started, hit that thumbs up on this video if you already enjoy it. Also, we have our own Minecraft server, which is actually sponsored by Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you use the link down below in the description and actually get yourself a server using that link, I will earn a small commission and that way you actually directly support my channel. To get started installing Forge and Forge mods, open up your Minecraft launcher because it is important that you launch Minecraft 1.18.2 before you start adding mods to it. So make sure to select the latest release and if it's not showing up over here, go over to installations. If you're actually watching this in the future and 1.18.2 is not here anymore, you can click new installation, name it whatever you want and under version, just scroll down and look for 1.18.2. You might have to scroll down a little bit depending on how far in the future you're actually watching this. Then click create and you will now have a profile with 1.18.2. I'm gonna go back here and just click play with the latest release. This will make sure Minecraft 1.18.2 is actually downloaded and installed through your PC. So once you've made it to the main menu, you can just click quit game. Now we can get started installing Forge first. So what you want to do is open up your browser. You can use the link down below in the description for an easy page that will contain all the links that you're going to need for this tutorial. But of course, you can also look everything up yourself. So the link in the description will take you to this website where you click how to install Forge. You will be taken to this page if you actually use the link down below in the description. And then over here, as you can see, it says download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.18.2. Click Forge Mod Loader right here. This will take you to a page. You may see this pop up if you've never visited this website before. Click Accept. Now, as you can see, we're on the page for Minecraft 1.18.2. So just click this big installer button right here. This will take you to an ad page where you have to wait five seconds. And then a skip button will appear, which you just click, and that will download a Forge installer. Now, as you can see, it has this Java icon, which it should have, because if it doesn't have that icon, you won't be able to open it. So if it doesn't have that icon, what you can do is go to your downloads, click show in folder and actually try right clicking it, open with and find Java TM platform SC binary. If it's over here, you can still click this. And as you can see, it still works. But if this doesn't work for you, that means you don't have Java installed and you're going to want to actually use these links down here where it says Java and jar fix. First, you can run jar fix to actually fix jar files. And if that doesn't work or it tells you that you need to install Java because it's nowhere on your PC, then you want to go to this second link right here and actually install Java. So after that, you should be able to see this Java icon or at least be able to right click open with and then select Java platform SE binary. So just double click this file or do it the way I just showed you. And then you'll see this installer. And all you got to do here is select install client and click OK. This will take a few seconds. Sometimes it will take about a minute and then after a while it will say successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.18.2 click ok and it will close the installer and now we're good to go we can actually get started installing mods so for this video we're going to be installing the gravestones mod because it was the one to first update to 1.18.2 as far as i know many other mods haven't been updated to 1.18.2 yet but of course you can repeat this process for any mod that you would like to install for 1.18.2 so as you can see, the gravestone mod right here, this page will look identical for other mods and the process is identical. You scroll down to 1.18 and find the download that says 1.18.2 and click the download file button right here. And then you'll have to wait five seconds for the download to start. And there we go, we've just downloaded the mod. I'm gonna drag this over to my desktop real quick. I suggest you do so too, or at least put it somewhere where you can easily drag it into another folder. Because what you want to do now is go over to your search bar right here, type in percent app data percent, hit enter, then find the folder that says dot Minecraft. And if you've never installed mods before, you won't have a mods folder. So what you want to do is right click new folder and name it mods lowercase. Now open this folder. This should be empty if you've never installed mods before. If you actually have installed mods before, make sure to get rid of them because most 1.18.1 or older mods won't work with Forge 1.18.2. So now you can drag in your 1.18.2 mods and this doesn't have to be just a single mod. This can be a bunch of mods. 
together as long as they're up to date for 1.18.2 and it's not fabric mods. So that's a mistake many people make is they download mods without checking whether it's for forge or fabric. It usually says so very clearly on the download page, but you just have to pay attention to that because those are not compatible. If you want to learn how to install fabric mods, then you can check out the cart that will pop up in the top right corner of the video right now. But we're actually done here so we can close this window, click the Minecraft launcher. As you can see, it's automatically selected the forge profile for 1.18. Point two. You can also go over to installations and find it right here. What you want to do is click these three little dots and click edit and then click more options because if you have more RAM available in your system than at least four gigabytes, you can actually allocate some more RAM to Minecraft, which is going to be particularly useful if you're going to be using a lot of mods. So if you have four gigabytes of RAM in your system, don't even touch the setting. But this 2G is actually the amount of gigabytes that is allocated to Minecraft. So if you have eight gigs in your system, you can safely set this to four. And if you have more than that, you can set it to six, but anything beyond that you won't really notice because you'll also be taking away a lot of RAM that the rest of your computer needs for it to just be able to run Windows, for example. So don't go beyond six. I'm gonna set it to six because I have more than that available in my system. I'm gonna click save. And now if you play Forge by clicking this play button, it will first give you this pop-up that you have to read and then tick this box, then click play. But now you'll actually be playing Forge with mods with a lot more RAM available to Minecraft. So here we are in Minecraft 1.18.2. As you can clearly see, it says three mods loaded of which two are actually just Minecraft and Forge. And the third one is the Gravestone mod that we just downloaded. But like I said, you can use this process and this tutorial for any mod that you would like to download and install for Minecraft 1.18.2. And now be careful with your existing worlds. You don't want to actually mess up any of your existing worlds that you previously didn't use mods on because afterwards you won't be able to load them without the mods. So you'll always have to get back to those worlds with mods. So don't touch your existing worlds is my advice. Just load up a brand new world and use the mods in that world. So that's how you install Forge for Minecraft 1.18.2 with mods. If this video actually did help you out in installing Forge mods, then be sure to, of course, give it a thumbs up. It's the least you can do when the tutorial was actually helpful. Once you're down there, like I said, hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. And also check out my Twitch channel where I do streams on the Minecraft server that I mentioned earlier. It's play.danielplace.net and I actually do streams over on Twitch. The Twitch handle will be somewhere down there on the screen right now. And then of course, as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.